Last week at HAI Heli Expo, Bell showed off its new Nexus VTOL. AOPA technical editor Mike Collins was there. Urban air taxis were a little closer to takeoff at the Helicopter Association International's Heli Expo in Atlanta last week, but that doesn't mean aircraft are flying. EV tall aircraft, that's electric vertical takeoff and landing, were a hot topic. So was UAM, on-demand urban air mobility, summoned with an app like Uber or Lyft ride sharing today. And the technology that will enable it has made noticeable advances in the past year. It's clear these VTOL aircraft won't be all electric at first. The energy density of today's batteries just won't allow it. Honeywell has paired a turboshaft engine with a gearbox and two generators. It'll be certified in 2023 to 2025, which is when the company says the market will need it. French-based engine manufacturer Safran is also developing gas turbo generators, as well as electric motors, to power hybrid electric vehicles. Safran doesn't see full electric aerial travel until about 2040. A large-scale mock-up of Bell's Nexus hybrid electric VTOL aircraft drew lots of attention. The single-engine hybrid has distributed electric propulsion. Six large ducted fans pivot from horizontal orientation, providing vertical lift, to vertical providing a forward speed of up to 155 knots. In forward flight, those ducts provide both lift and thrust. Bell projects a gross weight of 6,000 pounds. The comfortable cabin is about the size of a minivan. The mock-up has a cockpit, but the end game is autonomous flight. Bell's APT, for autonomous pod transport, is in flight test today. This is an on-man cargo delivery system. The APT-70 shown here has a 70-pound payload. The aircraft itself weighs 300 to 325 pounds. The industry is also looking at heliports and infrastructure requirements, as well as ways to fund infrastructure and technology development. Mike Collins, AOPA Live. So it's certainly going to be interesting to see where this goes. Uh, the, obviously, the horizon lines are, are different. Uh, the horizons, uh, some people think it's going to be 2023 and what Saffron say in 2040. Uh, so uh, we'll see who's right. There's a lot of energy around this in Washington. There was a hearing this week yeah. that was supposed to be on the broader subject of just the future of aviation right. and this, the airspace system, but almost everybody, including AOPA, we submitted testimony for the record, yeah. talked about EVTOL and autonomous flight. Right. Uh, it's, it's, it's a big, big topic. It really is.